Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about Spring Framework Hello World application using Bean Factory. First, let's see what is a Bean Factory. This is the simplest container providing basic support for dependency injection and defined by the Spring Framework package Bean Factory interface. The most commonly used Bean Factory implementation is the XML Bean Factory. So Bean Factory is an interface, whereas XML Bean Factory is the corresponding implementation. This container reads the XML Bean Factory reads the configuration metadata from an XML file and uses it to create a fully configured application. So uh, before going to the demo, I just want to show you a picture. So for example, here is the Bean Factory we have within Spring Framework. We have a Bean Factory. So Bean Factory uses the factory pattern. As you all know, factory pattern is to create number of objects. Okay. So Bean Factory uses the factory design pattern and it is used to create objects. And what is the object? What is the dependent objects that I want? I I can configure in an XML file. Before Spring 3, we can we, are, we were using XML file. So in the XML file, I will mention what is the object, the dependent object, dependent bean that I that I want Spring to create. I will mention in the XML file. Then this bean factory will read this XML file and it will try to create the dependent objects and it will be available in the bean factory. So whenever my application wants it, I can ask the bean factory. So basically, what exactly the Spring does or helps us is to manage the dependent objects and our application can focus on our business logic writing the business logic we don't need to worry about the creating of the dependent objects and managing these dependent objects whereas if you don't use spring framework what will happen is all these dependent, so dependent objects you need to create and you need to manage it if you introduce spring in your application so Spring takes care of all managing management of these different objects. Whenever you need, you can ask Spring. Spring will give you the objects. Let's see the demo. So I am I have an XML file, as I said. In the XML file, I have given I am going to create an object with an ID. Bean ID is a uh, Hello World Bean, and this is my object that Spring is going to manage. By default, it will be a singleton, and it has a property name. I want Spring to inject or set this property while creating this object so what will happen is it will it will create this object using reflection and it will set this property in that object that I am looking for okay so this is my object different object so spring is going to create this object and give it to me so using XML bean factory if you see here XML bean factory we are using and we have to give the path for the XML file so this will have the bean definition that means what is the object that I need spring to manage okay I just now showed you this is the XML file I need to give it to XML bean factory so this will load the XML file read the bean definitions create the objects in the container so the next second step is get the bean from the container and start using in your application let's debug this application let's see what happens I'm starting the debugger now. So Bean Factory is used to create the objects, but there is uh, advanced container like application context, which is uh, I would say it is an extension of a. Okay, so I'm going to create the Bean Factory. So. So it's loading the XML, XML bean definitions from class path resource. If you see here, Spring module. Okay. So it has loaded the, it, is, it has created the object. Now we are going to create the, we are going to get the bean. So we are able to get the bean from the context or the bean factory. Hope this video is useful. Thank you and all the best.